Congratulations once again. Thank you. Timmy, Thank it's you. such a pleasure to see you, you. again. Um, I really liked your story. The, the jury really liked uh, your story, Truth or Tall Tales. Yes. And I've been very excited to see how the filming of that will go. I know you're already on set, yes. and, and I know things are moving pretty quickly. We just wanted to touch base, hear from you how it's going, uh, if there are areas in which you need help, if you have any questions, uh, the whole idea is to make myself available um, to respond to whatever it is we yeah. can work, you know, to, to, to help you with. And of course, you still got post-production. So um, any questions you have, feel free. But I think we should start this by you just telling, uh, uh, telling me um, what's the progress, what's going on on set now. Okay. Um, I think, first of all, I, I think I've had um, good help, if I should say that um, I've... I've touched base with um, Paul twice now. Okay. And Fantastic. he was always available to sort of answer all the questions yeah. and sort of clarify certain yeah. things. Um, so I think the first about seven to eight days of the production was majorly um, script writing because sort of I, I had the story um, all set in my head, but then sort of you cannot, that cannot produce it on screen. Yeah. So I worked with a script writer who sort of helped me we had a first, second, third, fourth draft, mm. um, just to make sure we were within the time frame of six minutes. Okay. Um, so it was a challenge, but that was like a real challenge. It was like, yeah. at the time we were at eight minutes, I mean, eight pages, which sometimes translate to yeah, eight minutes here. Yeah. So we we had that, but till then there was a challenge of getting actors. Mm -hmm. There was also the challenge of securing location. Because um, there's, there's sort of like a look I'm going for um, where I want their conversations to happen. Mm -hmm. And I got a place that I thought was perfect. Um, I think it was even the third day um, until I was told that, oh, the estates wouldn't allow us to go in with equipment. We wouldn't be able to shoot and all that. So it was, it was that the challenge was there even up to, I think, three days ago. Okay. Uh, I couldn't secure a location until three days ago. So eventually we got that. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's how we got to the shoot day. Okay. So we're shoot, currently shooting and the shoot has been going good. Okay. Good. I have I'm not trying to make it extra complicated. I'm trying to make sure that the story is a quite simple story to start mm -hmm. with. It's literally just friends hanging out and then mm -hmm. talking to each other um, and just sharing experiences on what they have. And mm -hmm. um, as much as possible, I, I like simplicity. So I'm trying to make sure that that comes through. Um, I'm not trying to do things that are complicated, but as much as possible, I'm trying to also um, be a finesse person where um, Someone that is learning might not be able to pull some of the things I'm, I'm doing off. Um, so it's just like, that's, even though I'm simple, but I'm making sure that I put my stamp on um, what I'm currently doing. Um, so yeah, people are on set right now trying mm -hmm. to to put things together because I have sort of like um, the, the, the format I decided to go with, with in terms of direction for the story was to have the dialogue of the four friends driving the entire story while um, the audience sees um, some of the things that they are saying happening in our face. So the dialogue continues as normal, mm -hmm. but then you as the um, audience would just see that, okay, this is what they are saying in real time. So it's not just conversation from beginning till the end. So, yeah, I think so far, I think I got enough help to questions that I had and mm -hmm. things like that. So how are you working with, like, you know, uh, product, product placement, for instance? It's a beautiful thing already. Yes. Uh, friends do drink when they get together. Yeah. So the idea was to, because uh, I thought about that even when I did the pitch, because mm. I was like, okay, how do you incorporate drinking into, I mean, not all friends drink, but a lot of friends drink together. Um, I personally am a social drinker. Like, I, I wouldn't just wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I need a drink. Um, people have to be around. I share that joy with other people. Um, so I, I thought about that because I feel like um, I would always dig for my experiences, no matter how small it is. So I know that I drink with friends, and so I thought about that when I was thinking about the story. So they are sort of like playing games. Everywhere is a mess because they've gone through multiple games and they have a competitive guy. Mm -hmm. So the first product placement you'd see is the competitive guy sort of like um, taunting them as, okay, I'm winning all the games, so what's next? So that's the setup for the Truth or Tall Tales. In the sounds place. interesting. Yes. I think what's important with the product placement is to be subtle. Yes. To be... Um, well, uh, it don't, is subtle. Don't, don't be yes. in your face. Yes. I mean, it's just five minutes of yeah. video or three minutes, yeah. and you really don't 
want to see the product um, yeah, all the time at every time yeah. we we want it blended into the story i mm -hmm. think that's that's a trick but yeah. i think you got that um but do you have a plan in place for post production for instance yes um i contacted a um, usually all my products i used to edit but i, I feel like i'm at a place where i don't want to i want to murder my babies if that's the word <laughs> so i want to be able to um let someone see it for what it is and make a objective decision than. No, I think you should be part of the edit. Oh, I, I will be. I, I think you should have an offline cut. Yes. Um, and try to see if you can also show, um, find experienced people to look at your offline cut. Mm. Uh, also try to make sure that the story works. Mm. Uh, it's a short film, so you want to get in um, immediately. You want to, you know, your your kickoff point has to be really immediate. Mm. And the shots need to be uh, also strong. So close-ups, intimacy is mm. part of um, short films. Yeah. Uh, so just all of that you'll do in your post. Uh, but I suggest as well that you put a like an edit script together based on the shots yes. that you already have. Yes. Um, but otherwise, I have a sense of confidence that you know mm. um, you've got this right. Thank you. Yes. Do you have any questions? Anything that you, um, you, you need any help with? Let me know. I, I think the the only thing is um, maybe in terms of like product placement, for example. I, I had notes from Paul saying um, like um, how you should face the product. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've done that um, a couple mm. of times. But mm. um, when you said um, you mentioned something about being subtle. Um, I'm trying to count like on top of my head. I know that the product appears about six times. Is that going to be too much? That's, what that that that's sounding more like an advert. I think what you want to yeah. do is make sure it's a story. Yes. Um, we can. Fix, Although it's blended into the story, it can f be fixed in post. Yeah. That's it's always a cutaway. I hope you do yes, some close-ups yes. also. Yes. I'm I'm not really. Uh, we don't want not to have the product. Yeah. But we we also want the product as an organic part of the, of the story. story. Yes. Huh? Uh, and and that's really there's a difference between storytelling and story selling. Yeah. And you gotta, yeah. yeah. But you've got a beautiful story, so I'm not worried. <laughs> I am worried. <laughs> you should be worried. That all creatives are worried, yeah. right? But um, I think that basically covers it. I, I wish you the best of luck. You and your Thank team, you. and I, I I'm looking forward to watching your film. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Take care. Yes.